Yeah, so anytime you guys see me sitting like this, it means we need to talk. So there is this thing I've been saying on the blogs and people's comment section. It is actually women that do it. They go to other women's comment section and tell them that marriage is not an achievement. Come here, let me school you. Marriage is actually an achievement. If marriage is an achievement. Marriage is not an achievement. See, this particular topic has been causing serious problem in the street of TikTok. Some women will come, married women will come. It is an achievement. I have achieved it all. Because you are single, you don't know what you're saying. Blah, blah, as you are single, how many kids do you have? You are a single mother. While well, some married women will come again and be like, marriage is not an achievement blah 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 and why some people will come and be like women are saying that marriage some women that are married and saying that marriage is not an achievement is because they married wrong it's because they are not happily married if you're happily married you will know that marriage is an achievement that's what they say okay but then i would like to know your thoughts about this down in the comment section because i have compilation videos for to, sh to share with you all where women were especially african women african women they were saying marriage are, is an achievement see i to be honest when it comes to men you hardly see a man come and say ah marriage not. even though we know that is the men that are enjoying most in the marriage this men don't even come out to tell you and start fighting and arguing arguing with other single men that their achievements <laughs> is an achievement but you see women always come and you know tackle each other it's an achievement it's not an achievement blah 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 i'd like to know your thoughts about this comment section if you are married and somebody asks you is marriage an achievement what would you say would you say yes or would you say no? Let's go ahead and watch videos together. Then at the end of all the videos, I'll be... So anytime you guys see me sitting like this, it means we need to talk. So there is this thing I've been saying on the blogs and people's comment section. It is actually women that do it. They go to other women's comment section and tell them that marriage is not an achievement. Come here, let me school you. Marriage is actually an achievement. If you feel marriage is not an achievement, why are you not married? If you feel the need to go under a woman's comment section to tell her marriage is not an achievement, it's either because you're not married, yes, marriage is not smiling on you, or if you're married, you're not in a good marriage. Because if you think about all the stress and work you've put into that marriage to become successful, and if it is actually successful, you would not feel the need to tell someone else that marriage is not an achievement. Because marriage is the hardest thing you would ever do in your life, I promise you. If you're saying marriage is not an achievement, okay. What is an achievement to you? Maybe having more money or getting up there in your career. So do it. Let's see. Let's let's see. Do it. Imagine after you do it, someone now comes to you and tell you, oh, this thing you're actually excited about is not an achievement. How would you feel? You feel better. But I promise you, you would not feel as bad as the woman you're telling that marriage is an achievement because it is an achievement. Anything you put skills and courage and it becomes a success, it is an achievement. You would be married. If marriage was actually an, not an achievement so don't tell a woman that says marriage is an achievement that marriage is not an achievement okay next time you want to say that look at yourself in the mirror and tell yourself i am actually silly okay bye Mwah. comment section it is actually women that do it they go to other women's comment section and tell them that marriage is not an achievement come here let me school you marriage is actually an achievement if you feel okay i don't really understand why women try to force marriage as an achievement i don't know it's only women that have this kind of conversation i never see men saying marriage is an achievement or it's not an achievement however i think it's more like more of like a woman thing so yeah for me i feel like achievements are relative what an what is an achievement to me might not necessarily be an achievement to you and um i feel like someone that was forced into marriage won't see marriage as an achievement or someone that is in a terrible marriage won't see marriage as an achievement and if you watch the lady she said that uh, people that call that say marriage is not an achievement are either in a bad marriage or are not married i'm actually married and i'm in a good marriage so to speak if i say so myself but i still don't see marriage as an achievement to me to another person it might be that's why i say achievements are really tame. Before you start rushing to type against me that marriage is an achievement, can you actually sit down and tell yourself that you're responsible enough to be an achievement to anyone? 
Can you actually sit down and tell yourself that you are responsible enough to be trusted by anyone? Can you actually sit down and tell yourself that this is what you've done, that you're honest enough and respectful enough to anyone around you? If you cannot answer these questions honestly, be you a man or a woman, then you have no reason to stand by that assertion. With the level of deceit, lies, infidelity, greed, selfishness, irresponsibility that is out there today. I still hear people say, oh, marriage is the highest achievement any woman can have or any man can have. Now listen to me. Marriage was the greatest achievement in the days of our mothers. Why? Because men knew what responsibility were. Our parents also understood what commitment is. Our parents also understood with few words what respect is. Listen to me carefully. Ladies and gentlemen, the greatest achievement you can give to yourself today is your personal resources. Things you've achieved for yourself. Things you've done for yourself. It could be wealth. It could be development. It could be education. It could be your job. It could be anything that can make an impact to your living. Anything that will make you a responsible person to people around you is the greatest achievement you can have today. Before you jump and type, let's reason together. If marriage was truly an achievement nowadays, how come people inside are still jumping up and down looking for other partners to satisfy their personal needs? If marriage is truly an achievement, how come people are going up and down looking for other things, looking for resources, looking for children, looking for attention elsewhere, for people to help them with attention they're not getting from their partner? Have you ever thought about that? Listen, marriage is what it is today because our parents and society See, pressurizes us because to them, marriage is a way to show people that you brought your children up well. But guess what? How many non-entities go into marriage today? How many breakup and pack-ups are you experiencing? How many people are in there out of shame because they don't know what to do? How many people are in there because it's a poverty alleviation for them? How many people are in there because of what society, church, or their parents will say? These are the things you need to think through. So today... I stand my ground with a lot of researches and a lot of speaking to people to tell you that marriage is no longer an achievement. Marriage is just a sense of security that two people came together to build themselves together. Although many are yet to understand what this sense of security is. So more videos and more wisdom coming your way. Because it is an achievement. Anything you put skills and courage and it becomes a success. It is an achievement. You would be married. If marriage was actually an, not an achievement. First of all, I would like to render an apology to all our female ancestors who did not have an opportunity to choose a different life, but were forced into marriage and motherhood because they did not have an option in life. I personally do not go under people's posts to say that marriage is not an achievement because it is none of my business. However, marriage is not an achievement. Why do I say that? What are the eligibility criteria for being married? It's to be of a legal age, you know, and even that is subjective because there are girls who are betrothed into marriage when they are not of a legal age. But for purposes of a fair argument, let's just say that, you know, the requirement for being married is to be of a legal age. That is how society disregards marriage. I say this because the key skills required to be married is to have a good mental health, is to have emotional intelligence, and to be financially ready, and most importantly, develop effective conflict resolution. These are skills that the majority of people do not have, especially Africans. Africans were not raised in homes where they were equipped with the skills to develop effective conflict resolution, effective communication, prioritize mental health, and have emotional intelligence. Because if the government was conducting a psych evaluation, a lot of people would not be given a marriage license. If the government was conducting emotional intelligence tests, a lot of people will fail and will not get a marriage license. If governments were doing a financial readiness assessment, a lot of people will fail. Marriage is not an achievement because the only thing it takes for you to be married is to be of a legal age. And anybody 
whose mental health is bad, who does not have emotional intelligence and does not have the financial resources can easily get married. And the interesting part about this discourse is that most of the African women shouting who are in her comments saying marriage is an achievement. Most of you can barely even help your children with their homework. You can't help your children with your school homework. Most of you are not even your children's role model because you have not achieved anything for yourself. Marriage is not an achievement. No woman in history has been remembered for being married. Margaret Thatcher of England was not remembered for being married. Queen Yasantoa of Ghana is not remembered for being married. Queen Amina of Nigeria is not remembered for marriage. Harriet Tubman of America is not remembered for marriage. Rosa Parks of America is not remembered for marriage. Former female president of Liberia, Ellen Johnson Sirleaf, is not remembered for marriage. Even Michelle Obama is always known as the first lady who attended two Ivy League universities, Princeton and Harvard. Marriage is not an achievement. Dear African women, do something productive with your life and contribute to society. Because I have never seen anybody's grave where it was written, wife of Mr. Whatever and mother of five. Nobody's grave indicates whether they were a wife or they were a mother. Your grave will indicate the day you were born and the day you died. And before all the pick me's and desperate women come into my comments like, yeah, that is why you are not married. Marriage is an achievement. I am not saying that do not aspire to be married, but make sure you have your life together. Because for most of you, when you get married and something happens to your husband mm -hmm. and he can no longer contribute to the household financially, you will be destroyed and you will suffer and your children will suffer. Develop a marketable skill so that if you're married as a woman and something happens to your husband, you can take up the reins and make sure your children do not suffer and your children still have a good opportunity in life. Most importantly, build the important skills that are relevant for making relationships successful which is having good mental health, having emotional intelligence, developing effective communication, and also effective conflict resolution. Mm -hmm. These are the skills you must have to attempt to have a successful marriage and relationship. My name is Dr. Zida. I am a sociologist. I said what I said. You can argue in the comments, but if you're not following, guess what? Hit the follow button. With all the old achievements in this world, you will see African women arguing, shouting that marriage is an achievement. See, I don't even understand how marriage is an achievement. I can't get it. No matter how much they explain to me, the math is not matting. In my own dictionary i don't understand why how you would tell me marriage is an achievement well i understand it, some aspects when they i was talking about when they say marriage is an achievement the sense that they've been brainwashed or we have been brainwashed that a woman that is not married has not seen as in she has not achieved anything in life no matter how much money she has no matter how successful she is how happy she is you know and she's alone we've been brainwashed in this part of the world that i am i don't know i'm out the other side but this part of the world that i am we've been brainwashed that women that are successful when you see a woman pursuing a career you see a woman doing things that you know wants to make she's just choosing herself and she's not married she's not married you know what they do people look at her and be like ah she's successful oh, but she's not yet married and say ah hey yeah Oh, yeah, she's not married. It's not feeling pity for her because she has not achieved the marriage that they think is an achievement. She has not gotten. So if she was married and doing all of that, she's a role model. 
but because she's not married and she's doing all of that they are pitying her that she doesn't even know she's not following the right path in fact they they, they even use it to sing song i've forgotten the song so i'll laugh song for you guys do you sing song it'd be like women that you know follow our dream follow our career choose to you know be selfish with herself pick herself first and just put mine aside at the end of the day when they are 40 50 years old they tend to be very lonely because that is when they need a man and i wonder who who tell you who told you <laughs> who told you everybody wants to be married who told you that is what defines a woman? Who told you marriage is the only thing that makes a woman happy? And who told you that people that are married don't want to run out of their marriage? If you ask me, is marriage an achievement? You don't even need to ask me. You already know my answer. <laughs> you already know it's not an achievement because the math is not matching for me. And when I saw the first the thing, was that I saw the first video. I was like, are these people okay? I started seeing other videos. I didn't even bring some other videos because some are very annoying. Very annoying. With the with with the way they, they were even talking, they were saying it with pride. It's an achievement for me. I did this. I'm married with children. Like, I don't get it. Like, I, I watching the video, I was already pissed off. I know if I bring it up here, you all say, Maria, why did you bring this video? It's annoying. <laughs> So, I'm not going to bring those videos here. No. I'm going to be selecting videos I bring up here now because you all are complaining that I just bring videos. Don't probably I'll, I'll start selecting. See, those videos are very, most of the videos are very annoying because they were not even making sense. To them, they were making sense, but they were not even making sense. They were talking down on single women that chose to be single or single women that are not married. They were talking down on them and feeling that because they are married with children, they've, they've achieved more than the single woman. And they also talk about single mothers. Single mothers outside marriage, okay? Not their single mothers in married homes. Single mothers outside marriage. They were talking about them and, you know, comparing their lives together like okay you that are a single mother i made that i'm married with children in my husband's house you know the pride like i'm in my husband's house i'm a married woman those are the vibe they were giving and these people are mostly nigerians Ghanaians, africans in general i really don't get it I don't understand i'm also in nigeria well i don't understand what they are seeing because i'm not seeing it marriage is not an achievement to me okay if it's an achievement to you please explain why it's an achievement to you because to me it's an achievement there are a lot of things a lot of things that is an achievement in this world and marriage is none of it I feel like they should just scrap this whole mentality like if you're not a married woman you have not achieved anything you are not yet a woman blah 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 they should just remove it all i feel like okay okay or maybe <laughs> you know when you want to get married they tell you you're moving from miss to missus so i feel like is that the achievement thing miss to missus <laughs> anyways let me know your thoughts in the comment section. I want to know your opinion as I'm bringing this video here. Let me know is marriage an achievement? Well, maybe I'm wrong. Okay, it's fine. Is marriage an achievement to you? Let me know down in the comment section. And thank you all so much for sticking around to this point. I hope you enjoyed this one. Don't forget to like and share and subscribe. And kindly turn on the post notification bell when you subscribe so you can get notified each time I upload an interesting video like this one. Okay, so I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.